Well, I'm going to head out. You guys enjoy sitting around with your ding-dongs in your hand doing nothing all night. Ugh! <laughs> ding-dongs in our hand? What are you talking about? <laughs> Bitch, God. Yeah. My ding-dong wasn't even in my hand. I mean, wait. Mine was. Yeah, so was mine. Yeah, I was scratching mine when she said that. Yeah, I had screwed. my hands fully down my pants, if I'm being honest. I had to push it to the left. Communion After Dark.
Dark. It is the week of July first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. I nailed that without even looking. July first. We're already into July. Half of the year is over. Thank you for coming back for another week of music. And um, I'm Paradise. You just heard my set. Um, the last song in the set was by a Norwegian band called. Bereshu. I'm sure I might be butchering that, but that's um, how I'm saying it. And the song I played was Someone Like Me featuring Cassiel Agrippa. And (laughs) it was on the album Business of Love, which is on Crab Key Records. Uh, This project is... um, if you're familiar with the band Electro Spectre, the uh, composer Isaac, who um, you know does Electro Spectre and uh, is in the band, um, this is his a new project of his, and it's similar, very similar in some ways to Electro Spectre. So if you're a fan of Electro Spectre's style of music, you'll love this. Uh, um, he did collaborate with different artists on this, so that's a little different. Uh, Med- Medill Harris. I think that's her name. Hardis. I don't remember what her name is. She's worked with uh, um, Ashbury Heights and uh, Nature of Wires and uh, stuff. And she actually did a few tracks on here as well where she did vocals. Um, so, yeah, check it out. Good stuff. Especially if you're a fan again of Electro Spectre. Um, the sixth track in my set was by District 13 out of Germany. Uh, they put out a synth pop album a number of weeks back called Pandora's Hope. On in fact, the recordings, the song I played was It Can't Rain Forever. Uh, excellent track. Love uh, that band as far as good synth pop music, German synth pop. The fifth track of my set was by a band out of Columbia. It's a um, place uh, we don't play too many bands out of, but Resistor is the name of the band. And they have a um, new album out called Lieber Uber Alice on Scanner. The song I played off that album was Reject My Heart. If you are into old school EBM, uh, this is a album for you. Yep, that's a great album. And the fourth song that Paradise played is Rental Boundary out of the U.S. And this is the song Without a Chance. And this is the C Vector remix of We Without a Chance, which is a maxi single on yeah. Remission Entertainment. Yeah, three track single, so. But yeah, C Lecter's been back making some cool ass remixes lately, and Fun- Frontal Boundary is a really good new a dark electro band out of the U.S. Mm-hmm. 
All right. The third track we heard was by Protocol 19 from the U.S. with a song called Hanging On To Hope. And that's on their latest release called Mental Decay um, on Dance Macabre Records. Yeah, congratulations to uh, Protocol 19, who's from Tampa, for getting mm-hmm. signed to Dance Macabre. And their new EP is out. If you're into Dark Electro, you'll love this band. This song, oh, I asked uh, the uh, singer Jason... Uh, about this song because it's a kind of a dark song when you listen to the lyrics you may not know but he said this was you know uh, as long as well as the whole i guess ep was based around like mental health and and everything and he was going through a large amount of depression he said and uh very difficult times in his life when he uh wrote this song and, and this also was a song that he wrote as a way to say he was sorry to people who he had hurt along the way while he was going through that period so Hanging on to hope, kind of, you know, you can hear that, I guess, with the uh, title. So, yeah, good good track and um, definitely a band to follow and some good um, meaning behind the songs as well. Second track in my set was by Simon Carter out of the UK. And Simon, again, we've uh, mentioned this, has an album out called Start the Sequence, which is on uh, his own label, Simon Carter and Crumpets. And um, he uh, has a new... Um, yeah, new new project. Go buy it. Go buy it on Bandcamp. Wait for the other tracks to drop. There's five out. This one was called Nothing Lasts Forever featuring Voice Coil. Fantastic track. You love dance music, electro pop, future pop, synth pop. You'll love this song. Excellent track. So go get it. And then the first track in my set was by Solar Fake out of Germany with their song Hurts So Bad. Uh, don't pro... Don't push this button on Pointless Music, which is their own label. So, excellent album. We've played plenty of songs now off that Solar Fake. I think this is like the seventh we played. We played a large amount. Um, I don't know. You know, mostly we played most of the dancier ones. So, um, yeah, good stuff. And there's my set. I hope you enjoyed it. Some synth pop, dance pop, future pop with some dark music in between. It's like my life. All right. Now we are going to do our shot of the week. All right. So for shot of the week, I don't have alcohol. I have these cool drinks that my husband gets. And it's called High Tonics. And it is a prickly pear lime THC infused 10 milligrams of THC beverage that you can get at Total (laughs) Wine here in the U.S. So I'm just doing a shot of it because I would never be able to drink this whole can at 10 milligrams. High colonic? Yeah, it's it's high tonic. You can get it at Total Wine and it's got THC in it. So count on my husband to get these. So I'm doing a shot of that. All right, let's do it. All right, cheers. Cheers. Drink your drink. Mm, Prickly pear. That's actually really tasty. Mine was tasty as well. I had a a banana chocolate. Good. Good, good. What did you have, Tom? Uh, um, I had some sake. Oh, nice. I don't like sake. Sake. Sake to me. All right. Hey, thanks again to uh, Chris Brandon from Synthop Fanatic for joining us last week. If you haven't heard that show or haven't listened, go check it out. Give him some love. And um, want to uh, also push this week, if you are a listener to our show and you have the ability, please Help us out by donating to the podcast. One-time donations are appreciated. Go to comeafterdark.com. We are looking. Uh, we are in the process again of buying a new computer, which for the show, which is a one like a another, uh, you know, expense that we need money it's for. It's basically so. it's basically a computer that holds all of the CAD stuff. So yes. we're not using someone's personal computer to hold the video editing program and all the whatever there's just and that's how it used to be when griffin yeah. was on the show there was always a, a laptop specifically for, for a cab so 
Yes. I've so been abusing can... my laptop. <laughs> yeah. So if you can help us out with that, we really would appreciate it, especially if you're a listener to our show. Um, we come on here each week. We really means a lot to us for any help you can give us. Um, so thank you again. And uh, I also wanted to mention that coming up here uh, this, well, no, it's not this coming week. But I'm, uh, in two weeks, yeah, well, almost two weeks, July 12th, I have a fantastic show coming up at New World Tampa that you should not miss. This is for all the people that live in Tampa. I'm yelling at you. Do not miss the show. It's going to be really a good show. Sydney Vallette is uh, going to be headlining that, uh, with um, Matt Hart. Sydney Vallette's coming from France, by the way. Matt Hart is coming from the United Kingdom or UK, whatever. And more is not enough, who's from um, Tennessee. Uh, three fantastic artists. Matt Hart has never been in Florida before, never played a show here. He's so excited to play. He has all this crazy merch that he's bringing with him. So please come out and support. And Sydney Vallette is fantastic. We've never had him in Tampa. Um, I believe he might have played South Florida many years ago. But again, this is like his first, like, really, a, like his he first did. official tour in the u.s did he play miami that was right before covid i remember I because Maybe I, a was, I saw autumn melody and then i was in orlando for autumn melody and sydney Bullet was supposed to be the next day mm -hmm. in miami and i swear it got canceled because of COVID. Oh, maybe maybe it did i don't know but he's never had a u.s tour so come out and support that show it really is a show you should be there for even if you can't high energy be there for the whole show it's high energy in and uh, Gold's buddy, uh, DJ Vane, is spinning at that show. And Very she loves pumping show. out the high energy music. So, yeah, DJ Vane playing music starting the night. And fantastic artists afterwards. It's going to be a fun night of music. And a lot of hijinks with Matt Hart and his mustache. So, yeah, And it's that even... New World, which has really good AC, in my yeah, opinion. Um, can, so, you know, if you want to dance and everything, you're not going to break a sweat as fast I, I had to share this since we're talking about this here's a Matt Hart <laughs> mask he sent masks to That's sell super cool to give away at the show with, <laughs> with sticks so yeah so come so, like everybody's gonna be holding those masks in the crowd and dancing so yeah so come out and um, come out and give those people some love they really deserve it Okay, they really, really do. And it's not a, an overly expensive show. It's just as cheap as if you wanted to go to McDonald's and buy um, a couple of cheeseburgers. I like Taco Bell. Everything's so expensive now. You get oh. a Taco Bell, that's like $40. <laughs> yeah, it's craziness. Anyways, all right. Gold's up next with more music. So come on back. <laughs>
steps out of the window. Here's a chance to raise merry hell. Deadly and dedicated.
wo Freundschaft sich auf ewig hält. Starkes Bündnis im Vertrauen, verschmolzen bleibt in Zeit und Raum. Ein kurzer Blick vereint in Schweigen, verdammt in alle Ewigkeit. Nie getrennt und nie allein, unser Pakt für immer sein. Du und ich und ich und du. Du und ich und ich und du. Du und ich und ich und du. Du und ich und ich und du.
right, welcome back to Comedian After Dark. I'm TJ Tom, and you just heard my set. And the last track you just heard was by the Frikolics from Germany. The song called Imbalabad. Imbalbad. Or Balabad. Imbalbad. And that's a digital single out on Bandcamp. I'm being bad? I have no clue what it means. I have to look it up. Yeah, that's all right. That's the uh, side project of Massive and Mensch. In case people weren't aware. The sixth track that I played was a band called the Co- Corsi? Corsi out of Germany. And the song was called Brudergeist. This is a uh, project with uh, Rob Dust. And uh, he sent it over to the play. So check it out. I don't know any news of what it's coming out or when. But I hope you enjoyed it. Look is it um, old with that exclusive? That's an exclusive, huh? That's pretty cool. I asked him again. I go, can, can, can I play this stuff? And he's like, just play it. I'm like, okay. All right. So uh, that song that you played by the Frikolix or Frikolix, um, it translates into In the Ball Pool. I don't know if that's correct or not, but if you translate it, it says in the ball pool. I'm sure Google might be crazy, but that's what it says. I wonder says. if that's about, I wonder if that's uh, like pool, like pool game. Oh, maybe. Maybe that's what, yeah, who knows? That could be. I don't know. It makes me think of like, you know, the ball pits that they have in the kids area. And they have them for adults too. <laughs> could be that too. <laughs> See, the first, fifth track you heard was brand new Black Light. They're from the U.S. and they're back with a new track called Blind Vision and this is the Dominatrix remix and this is from the Blind Vision EP and uh, it's new and he's promising more coming out down the pipeline Alright, the fourth song that DJ Tom Gold played is New Spank the Nun out of U.S. This is Mind Control this is the Leather Strip remix 2024 um, on Mind Control 2024, which I believe is a single, maxi single, yep. that you can get on Bandcamp. Yeah, this was his very first song that he ever did. It was remixed by Leather Strip, but um, he went got nostalgic and we went back and kind of did it over again. Awesome. Nice. Third track in Gold Set was by How Job. They're back. Classic band. From the 90s, Daniel Meyer, Fronted Project, out of Germany, with the brand new song, In the Headlights. Uh, this is from their upcoming album. Um, so yeah, look out, look for a full length. And he played the Qual tech support mix of that track, which I know DJ Winters is always also very fond of. Uh, Qual is a side project of Maybelline from Lebanon, Hanover. He's a side project of Lebanon Hanover, and his name is Maybelline. Maybelline. (laughs) Digital single, which is on Dependent Records. Pretty awesome. The How Job is back. You can never go wrong with new How Job. Yeah, that track's awesome. Oh, oh, sorry. The second track I played was brand new x Dies from Germany with a song called Dirty Freddy. But this is the club mix. And there's a brand new Dirty Freddy EP out with a bunch of mixes out on out on Dark Tunes Music Group. Yeah, and that song's not about uh, Tom Green's Freddy either. Just so you know, remember fingered? remember remember Tom always, Green's? Well, it was Freddy was fingered. Uh, Freddy got fingered. Yeah. <laughs> and I started off with a newer band from Russia called Iran Iran Batur. And the song I played was Ulu Tengri, I think. And that's out on Room Media. Room mm. Media. And you can get that on Bandcamp. I have to admit, that is not a band I had ever heard of before. So, very interesting. Cool, cool. Thanks, Gold. All right. Well, there you go. Winters is coming up next. More music. Um,. So yeah, just a uh, quick, I guess we really don't have too much more to talk about, but I did want to mention again that um, 
Our shows uh, premiere every Monday, so if you can help us out by sharing, um, liking, we appreciate it. The YouTube show goes up Wednesday at 8 a.m. And I want to mention one more time, we still have these a few of these um, cool Community After Dark Worker shirts with the collar left, but uh, the size um, is double XL. So if you fit into a double XL, um, please let me know by sending an email, communityafterdark at yahoo.com. And just put worker shirt. Um, I, I had just sent one out a couple, like maybe a week and a half ago to somebody. Um, and they, they really liked the shirt, actually. they I have to post a picture. We just got it back. And they said that they were really impressed with the shirt. So very cool. Thank you. And um, yeah, I appreciate everybody who um, you know bought them. And by the way, this shot glass, um, I think, I don't know, I have to look at them. But Winters gave me... Uh, a, or her husband did a box of these shot glasses, um, <laughs> which were the kind of, which we thought were misprinted, but some of them look fine. So I'm going to go through the shot glasses. If you're interested, I will let you know maybe next week. Uh, maybe we can sell some of these shot glasses again because these are really cool shot glasses. And it says "Drink your drink" on the back. Um, it, they were so. all the misprints, so they're the ones that we didn't so, sell. Like yeah. some of them are squishy looking and. And well, one yeah, was even blank. I'm uh. not gonna I'm not gonna sell ones that aren't aren't good. But me and your husband looked at a few of them, and they were like, these actually look really nice. Still, I mean, like a couple of them in there were actually uh, didn't look bad at all. So I'll go through them, see how many we actually have that would make sense to sell, and then we'll let you know because maybe we'll look have at a hand holding out on people. They've been yeah. sitting in my garage. You might you might you might have like you know, who knows? We may have five. Six, maybe a couple, you know, but hey, a limited edition um, shot glass because uh, those are the would be the only ones that we have left. All right, uh, Winters, you're next. I am. I'm going to play music. This is Dark Radio, and you are listening to DJ Winters.
Welcome back to Community After Dark. This is Winters. You just heard my set. And that last song you heard is Cult Knock Out of Greece. And this is the song In a Wild Wave that is on the Urge album that just released on Cold Transmission Music. This album's a little slower than I expected it to be. This is the other dancey track that's on it. I expected there'd be more dancey track. It's not that it's bad. It's just this is, they're not very, they're very melodic. Um, and before that, I played Night in Athens out of the UK. I'm very excited about this project. They released a single um, in May, or no, in 2023, they released a single. And now this album is on pre-order on Wave Records. The album's called Words Unspoken. If you are a fan of Celophon and Lebanon Hanover, which you all know I am, uh, has that type of feel to it. I love her voice. I love the videos they're doing for the singles that have come out. So keep an eye on that artist. And if you like it, go pre-order it. Fourth track we heard winner set was by Echoes in Mind from Italy. The song called Story Not Told. And that's a single which is self-released on Bandcamp. This is a cool new... Uh, dark wave post punky type track because I'm last on the show, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that means. <laughs> uh, third track in Winter Subs by a band out of St. Petersburg, Florida called Ultra Tosca, who um, has really grown in popularity over the last couple of years and well deserved. He has a new um, album out called Dispatches from Solitude on Dark Entries Records which is his new label that he signed to. And the song she played was Systems of Love. You can pick that up, yes, through Bandcamp, so go give him some love. And by the way, he will be playing here in Tampa, Florida, on July 19th with Blood Handsome out of Los Angeles and Healing, I believe that's how you say their name. It's without the uh, vowels, but I believe it's still Healing, healing. out of uh, Ohio. So um, that's going to be a fantastic high-energy show as well. But Handsome is a really cool band. Orchard Toss that puts on such an amazing live show. Please come out and support that. DJ Winters will actually be spinning at that show. One of her, she's not only. spinning as much. Yeah, she's yeah, not spinning much. Like, I think this might be her only show, last show in like, 2024. Yeah, it's like the last show. I'm trying to get out of doing the DJing live thing so I can enjoy the show and enjoy myself because I have a stressful job. And, um, yeah, so it'll probably be like my last one this year, unless something else happens this year. But we'll we'll see. We we know what that (laughs) might be. We'll we'll talk about that later time. All right, yeah, so come on and check out Orchard Tosca on July 19th at New World Tampa. All right, and before that, I played a project that I just discovered um, called Dry Feel out of Greece. And this is the song Synthesized, which is featuring Flora, um, which I think it's also out of Greece. And um, this is Your Body Kills the Rhythm. They are on um, The Static, and they are also on Oracula Records. You can pick up this track on either one of those labels. Um, and yeah, I, I like it, and I hope you like it too. <laughs> wow, two, Greece, uh, two, two bands from Greece on this mm-hmm. uh, show. That's awesome. And then I started everything off with Brand New Bonder out of the Netherlands. Um, This is the track Haunt. And this is a Grendel remix. I really love what JD did to this song. It's dancey. Um, The original is good too, but I like this one just a little bit better because it's dancey and groovy and whatnot. Um, And this is a maxi single. I think there's one other remix on it as well as like the original and an instrumental. Um, But this track's amazing. I hope you liked my set. Awesome. You have one more track coming up, so don't go anywhere. That track will be here in a moment. We want to read our donations, monthly donations we received this week. Um, and these, again, are all monthly donors to our podcast. Thank you again to everybody who um, continues to stick with us, um, and we appreciate you. Monthly donors this week, again, are going to be uh, Sarah DeGroote, Alexander Vert, David Reynoso, Nigel Baker, CD, Ricardo, Mind Killer Inc., Dark Lord of Serpents, Katya Guttinger, Andreas Merkel, Dave Steinhausen, 
Julian Tate, Johan Rombouts, Zoe McKay, uh, Matthew Nixon, Aaron Euro, Alonzo White, Peter G, and Amy Black. And I think I Thank mentioned you, Mind everybody. Killer. I think I said Mind Killer Inc. If I believe. Uh, but yes, those are all monthly donors. Thank you very much. And we did get one one-time donation this week. Again, we really could use your help, as I mentioned earlier, with one-time donations. Uh, Julia Brown said, um, thank you for getting up. I'm sorry. Thank you for getting me into so much cool new music every week, such as Funker Vote, Funker Vote, whatever. Uh, Julia from Massachusetts. And she said as well, hope I can visit Tampa again. I love the castle. So there you go. Some love yeah, for the castle. Love the castle. Like, All right. Thank you, Julia. Last song, Winters. All right. So the last song um, that I'm playing is by a band that I like a lot that is a uh, post punky dark wave um, called Umbral. They're out of Colombia. And they did a cover of El Yunk, um, which is a Visage cover. So El Yunk, their original, I think, I want to say it was Visage's first album that came out in 1982 it was their debut album and this is the debut track that was on it um, and it's done really well in post-punk dark wave in another language and i liked it a lot so i hope you like it too wow look at that. two two bands from colombia on this show how crazy is that that's just craziness and i was right. four years old when that album came out guys wow <laughs> <laughs> I was young too. I was in my early teens. All right, come on back.
Welcome back to Community After Dark. You just heard uh, that band called um Umbral, who was out of Colombia, who did a cover of Visage. Um, song, I believe the original song was called The Anvil, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool cover there. Check them, check them out. Give them some love. Um, read some donations. Donations. Uh, comments. Comments, not donations. These are comments. And thank you again to everybody who continues to comment on our show. Comments are very much appreciated because, again, they help out with the algorithms. The more you comment, the more our show gets noticed. The more, um, especially like on YouTube or Mixcloud, please comment, please share, please like, please heart. Uh, it means a lot. Even if you think it doesn't, it does. You can say whatever the hell you want. It doesn't matter. Just Even if you just comment, Paradise, you're a poop. Yeah, there you go. Just say whatever the hell you want to say. It doesn't matter what you say. Uh, but yes, thank you again. Uh, Cat Calico Cat. <laughs> Caddy, I'm sorry. Caddy Calico Cat 77 says, thanks for the awesome mix and thanks for the track list. Then I can get every track too. Peace. Thank you. Thank you so much. And that's awesome that you're buying the music. We appreciate that. That's a large portion of our show. It always has been. 13 Beards, who I believe is a scientist, if I remember properly, said choosing a favorite from the show is tricky. There are so many solid songs here. Well done, as always. Um, what is this here? Praise, praise, I don't know. Said, ah, Alex Brown and Rob Dust hit that perfect beat. Screaming, crying, losing my mind. That's awesome. <laughs> Um, and then happy go lucky ghost. Oh, that's an awesome handle. I love that handle. So last week's EP was kick ass. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, man. I'm going to read the rest of them. I'm assuming EP meant episode. I just thought yeah, about that. I think yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. Um, and this is from, um, JTHBS, uh, Der Sturm can mean assault in the context of attack, but generally it means storm, as Paradise guessed correctly. And yeah. in this song, they sing, we are the storm, we are the flood, we are the light on the horizon. So it definitely means storm. Yeah! So I Storm Cafe, right. it's like storm coffee, right? Or is that like, yeah, like storm coffee? Yeah, storm probably. Cafe? I, I would assume. I don't think it means a salt calf coffee. Yeah. Let me get my salt coffee. <laughs> nah, I don't think that's what it's. All right. And David Mino said, uh, perfect listening for during and after work, especially while bottling some homebrew beer. My husband would love you, David. I love how the comments started out. Geography after dark. I, I did what Mark recommended about looking up that AI country song, and now I'm scared <laughs> my YouTube will suggest, will make suggestions, are going to get funky. I totally read that wrong, but you got what I said. Um, cheers, everyone. Have a great week. That THC is like, I'm telling you, I feel like I can't talk right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And this, this next one is from Dimp. 5321 and it said perfect at and pop fanatic your set list love it yes chris does an amazing job last week's show was i felt 
um, a good balance. You guys did great. I still listened. And this next comment is from Neville Walton. My favorites this week, Solitary Experiments, The Great Unknown, uh, Massive Ego, Fractiles, Alex Braun and Rob Dust, Blood Tingle, Basculate, Rupesh Cartel, and Alienaire. Yeah, I was surprised to see that Rupesh Cartel dropped something new. That was that was a nice surprise, and I think that that's all the comments, guys. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, by the way, Caddy Calco, cat, we actually translated that um, that comment because that was actually sent to us in German, which I like. It was. I translated it. Yeah, yeah. I so didn't think kinda... you'd be able to read it. No, I'm glad you didn't make me read it. In German. <laughs> that would not have been good at all. You know what this means? The goth lizard said. Makes me wonder when Blitzo, the O is silent, Blitz, I'm assuming, will show up in the intro. If you know, you know. Does anybody Blitz. know what the hell that means? Blitz, I know. Do you, does anybody know what that means? Blitz. But he said that the O is silent. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, was it from like the sample you used this week? Did it have something to do with that? I don't know. I don't know. I that was I'm not um, in the... 30 Rock. Right? I'm not in the know on this one. I don't know. This week's sample was from uh, Always Sunny in PA. Oh, this one was from <laughs> Always Sunny in Pennsylvania? Yeah. Or this Philadelphia week, no, or this whatever. one that we're recording. Last oh, week was from up. 30 oh. Rock. Oh, yeah. That's one Tom's uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. He likes that one a lot. What I would recommend is go see, go watch the Echo. That's a cool show on Disney+. Plus. If you like um, Star Wars and you like Jedi's, it's a good show. I don't know. Mike and I totally are binging The Boys right now. Mm -hmm. If you haven't watched The Boys, it's on Prime. It is like superheroes that are acting like superheroes. Well, they are superheroes. They have superpowers and stuff. But they are basically killing people. And it's hmm. just such a fucked up cool show, and we lo we love it. It's on season three, so if you haven't watched that, and then also there's um, Dark Matter on Apple that we're watching right now. That's like a sci-fi with the beautiful Jennifer Conley. You can't go wrong. Yeah, she's good. Tom, what do you think about Acolyte? Uh, the one I haven't seen this week's, but I like it up so far. It's oh, okay, good. yeah, yeah, you'll like this week's if you haven't watched it. I think you'll get a you'll really enjoy this week's. It's good. But, um, yeah, it's been a good show, for sure. No doubt, if you're a Star Wars fan, anyways, which um, I always have been. Any, any movies, Tom, that you can recommend, or any shows you want to recommend that you're watching? Because I know you watch uh, Keep Up on some of that stuff. Uh, the only one I've been keeping up on is, like, Doctor Who and Acolyte, and that's it for now. Is Doctor Who new, or is that just like you watching new? the old episodes? No, no, there's no, there's a brand new, brand new Doctor. Oh, it's brand all new Disney, one, Disney Plus. There's a brand new one. I want to watch it. I haven't started it yet because it's, I've oh, got so fantastic. many shows. Yeah. yeah, it's the it's the one guy that was in, it was the one uh, black guy that was in um in Barbie. And he's he was in Barbie. Oh yeah, and yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yes, he's yes. also in um, Sex Education. Yeah, as well. I love yeah. him. He's, he's a good yeah. doctor too. He's really good. Mm -hmm. Awesome, dude. Oh, and then, of course, um, the the House of Dragons. We oh, yeah. oh well, yeah, of course. course. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. I oh, forgot that about that one. That's that's fantastic. Yeah. I love how love. HBO does that to you. HBO is like, nope, you gotta wait, and we're like so not used to it anymore. <laughs> like, I, you watch the episode, House you Dragons. can't just go on to the next one. <laughs> no, but it's excellent. And, and by the way, if you're a fan of um, Cobra Kai, that that comes back in um, July. I believe it's like middle of July, so it's only right. It's right around the corner. If you're a fan, I love Cobra Kai, but um, I love it too. But I don't think beating it like a dead horse right now. Well, yeah, this the last, this I'm with Tom on that. This is the last season. Last season of it. And yeah, also, so. there's been um, rumors, or at least um, Will Ferrell is like kind of making appearances as um, Ron Ron Burgundy. Saying that their the cast is is discussing possibly doing a third. 
Anchorman? Anchorman. How awesome would that be? I think it should be a trilogy, personally, and I keep saying that because I'm an Anchorman but The only fan, problem but... with that is that Christina Applegate, with her um, illness, might not be able to be in it, which would kind of stink. But that's fine. They can still do, like, a homage to her. Sure, sure. So. They, can, they can AI her nowadays if they wanted to. But, well, they could, yeah. Yeah, so that's true. All right, well, that's it for this week. We will see you next week. And um, thank you again to all our um, cover models, cover photos, people who send in cover photos. We appreciate you. Um, if you are interested in ever joining us, you do have the option of um, sending us um, photos at communityafterdarkyahoo.com. And we'll definitely review them to see if or we Or I think the best route to do it because... I'm kind of in charge of all the models. I have a list mm -hmm. is if you send the community after dark on Instagram, a message with your pro profile on Instagram mm -hmm. and like with just your link to your profile and say there that you're you interested in being a CAD model, then I will reach out to you and add you to the list because there's like a, I have it very organized so I can she get does. you in the list where, cause it just makes it easier for me. <laughs> So yeah, mm -hmm. just reach out to the Kimi After Dark on Instagram, send the link, and then go. I will go follow you, and I will go and reach out to you and let you know the process. All right, sounds good. Well, we're done. Thank you, and uh, we'll see you all next week. Bye, -bye. Bye everybody. Have Bye. an amazing week. Thank you. Will someone turn off that music? That's enough. I'm putting an end to this freak show right now. <laughs> Ha 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 